This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Today I wanted to show you guys this super cool alien action figure from NECA. I think I have shown him to you guys in previous episodes where I would have like a bunch of alien figures from my collection, but I don't think I ever did a video just devoted to him specifically. So I was gonna do that today. This is um, the Ultimate Edition Big Chap. So the Ultimate Alien. Comes in this really cool box. shows you everything you get. My favorite alien that I own, um, I have shown off to you guys in the past. It is the um, one fourth scaled version of this figure. It's it's just like a, a big blown up version of this one. Um, the sculpting on this thing is amazing. This is the you know seven inch version, or he might even be taller than that. He might be more nine inches tall but uh this is the more action figured scaled version they did an amazing job with the sculpt on this guy opens up um, you also get in the box let me show you what else you get besides this amazing monster um, you also get a chest burster get one of those you get a cool face hugger And you get this awesome egg. Um, thing I like about these eggs that Giger made, as opposed to the ones in the sequel, um, Giger made it so that everything was alive, including the eggs, almost as if the eggs were a sentient thing also. Um, they've got these tentacles, coming off of them for the base which I don't think they really continued with in the sequels they they made it look sort of uh, hive-like in the um, 
in the sequels. Um, but they never quite had the same look as these. And I, I just like, I mean, you can't get, you can't go wrong with Giger. He's the one that invented it. So you get this really cool egg with face hugger. Gorgeous detail on him. I think I bought four of these. <laughs> um, I know I've got one on my desk at work. I've got this one, which is from my alien display at home. And then I've got two more in boxes, like I, I showed you at the beginning of this. I have two more in there boxes still. Just in case something were to happen to this, then I've got a backup. But yeah, it's neat. It's just like a, a little, a scaled down version of that ultimate uh, one fourth scaled one that came in the Kenner tribute packaging. It's very, very cool. I love how they did his face. The smoky, the smokiness of the dome with just the right amount of black up front. They've done a lot of versions of the Big Chap, but this is, I think, when they nailed it perfectly. This one and its uh, one-fourth sized counterpart, I think, are the two best representations of the Big Chap that NECA has ever done. Um, so something cool that I think they're going to get their own video, but I was going to show you guys. Um, so this is obviously how the alien looked in the film um but NECA god bless them <laughs> they'll never let a mold go to waste um when Giger was first making this costume the actual material the the um like silicone rubber or whatever it is they were using um when it came out of the mold, it had sort of a milky, transparent, translucent look to it. Um, if you guys remember the um, Mezco 112 alien figure I showed you, I also showed you its counterpart, the, um, the concept alien, which was that milky white one. Well, NECA did the same thing. Um, this is basically how the suit looked as it came out of the uh, molds before Giger airbrushed it. And this is called the Concept Alien, which is the exact same figure as the one I just showed you guys. But um, yeah, they call this one the Concept Alien because that's kind of what it was. It was... It was the suit, but not painted yet. And I actually have a couple of uh, one-fourth scaled versions of this guy, too, that uh, I'll have to get out and show you. It's very cool. I like that larger format. These are really nice, but the larger format really, you know, shows off the detail a lot more. Um, and NECA did it one more time. Um, they released this awesome figure, which they call Giger's Alien. Um, this one is in a like a like a, a transparent sort of see-through smoke color. 
and they're saying that this is based more on how it looked in Giger's artwork, which is really cool. So it's like a, it's like somewhere in between those two, you know? It's painted up more than the white one, but it's uh, not quite as dark as uh, the one used in the film. And yeah, this one is based on Giger's artwork, more or less. I mean, at least that's what they said. <laughs> They're just milking the mold. But you can't blame them. I mean, you got people like me that'll keep on buying them. And he actually came with a smoky colored um, face hugger. Same face hugger as the one I showed you before, but it's in those darker tones, sort of smoky gray coloring, as opposed to the more khaki tan colored one on the left. Anyway, that is a look at the... Uh, ultimate big chap figure from NECA and two of his buddies and I thought you guys would like to see him it's a very cool action figure you can still find it I think Amazon has him for sale um, expect to pay somewhere like around 45 to 50 bucks for that thing but it's a very very cool action figure that's another reason why when these things go for sale, I'll buy like three or four of them because I know that in the future, these NECA figures, they jump so high in price that if one were to break or fall over and snap a piece off or something and you had to replace it, it's always fucking expensive to try and find one. So I tend to think ahead and get a, get a little backup uh, version in the beginning. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you later. Remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> and happy Halloween.